Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Down. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, this is a little bit of old news, but it's fine. We're, we're dated. Um, so the, the couple weeks ago, the 49ers and the Cowboys played, and they were, both, they were both undefeated, I think, at the time, or they were both doing really good at the time. And at the end of the game, who was this? George Kittle, which is a pretty good tight end for the 49ers, yeah, I've heard of him. lifted up his jersey, and he had on a F Dallas shirt on underneath it. it said like F the- Dallas with the star, but it said the word. It didn't like... It was, it, was there asterisks at all? No, no, there was no asterisks. Okay. There's a picture right here of him lifting his jersey, and he has on an F Dallas shirt underneath okay. it. Well, good for him. That's funny. <laughs> wow, it's good for him? That's not bad sportsmanship? <sighs> This is the way I like to think about things, Jonas. Wow. Okay, let's go. All I right, wanna... see, we're gonna we're gonna go down the uh, the rabbit hole a little bit here, though. All right. Okay. So when I feel like I see a foreigner, all right. When I see a foreigner, like it, like someone from another country yes, walking around in America, yes, e- either here in America or in their homeland, and I hear them make fun of American culture, right? I giggle to myself. So, okay. All right. So, so, but they're in America making fun of American culture. It doesn't matter. It really oh, doesn't, so it doesn't. Yeah, you like if someone, the British were like, oh, you know, like it, with their cute little accents because, you know, I'm so American. So, you hear someone who's not from America make fun of America. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, if I hear them make fun of Americans or they're like, oh, no, I think American men stink. Uh, dude, that, it, I'm giddy. I laugh my ass off. So, I would have to think is that most people who are proud of wherever they're from or their culture would feel similarly. So if I were to say, you know, all Chinese people have normal size heads, I'm sure there's a Chinese person at home right now. Like, what the hell is he talking about? Yeah, of course we do. You know, but if I were to make a more derogatory statement that was more generalized and obviously based in like ignorance or whatever, and if, even if I made it in jest, like I feel like they would understand. So I have to. Well, give how this, do you feel about people making fun of Cleveland? I, it's funny to me. I've heard you not be so funny about it. Though. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into a fight. Look, this is not like a Michigan. This isn't a Michigan thing. If you're Michigan, yeah, it'll it'll come to blows. All right. It'll definitely. I'll I'll definitely. I'll blow you up. <laughs> I know you'll blow anyone that I'll, wants it. I'll blow them up right now. Yeah, you blow. You if blow you, it. If dude. you're from Michigan and you make fun of Ohio or Cleveland, that's a problem. Or Ohio <laughs> State, that's an issue. But as far as. Uh, just being like, I don't know. It's just, I just feel like teams can take it. Like, if you say F my football team, ha, f- funny. That's fine. That's what you're supposed to well, say yeah, about your a, football team. I mean, team. it's different when you're playing the game. Like, it's different when you're on an FCC regulated airwave. Yeah, but like when you're, you know, like if you're sitting here and you're playing a game in person with someone and they whoop your ass and they stand up and they're like, F you. And you're effing whatever. Like, that's yeah. not, that doesn't rile you up a little bit. I feel like worse was said on that field. The problem lies in when everybody can hear you. It's a respect thing. I, I don't even feel that much about it, man. I feel, people, I feel like they say words to each other on people on the field. don't like, like, you, you know, just can't back hear in it. the day, T, when T.O. played for the 49ers, he ran to the Dallas Star and, like, did something stupid. And, like, people ran off and pushed him off the goddamn star. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> Well, everybody knows that it's disrespectful to stand on that. Everybody knows that's not right. Kyrie had to find out. T.O. had to find out. It's fine. I get it. Kyrie? Yeah, Kyrie. He got into uh, contention with the Boston Celtics because he stood on the leprechaun. Oh, it's standing on their logo in the center of the court. Yeah, you can't be doing that, man. You can't do that. That's, that's But that's any ball club. And even still, I feel... But it's okay to wear an F Dallas shirt? Okay, so here's the thing, man. They say words to each other on the field. The problem is, is when everybody can hear it. Like, everybody can hear me make a jokey statement to you. And, like, you know, you make a jokey statement about me. I like pink. You say, ha ha, Dynamite likes the SDs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, it's perfectly God. fine. Okay. It's perfectly fine until everybody can hear it. And then everybody gets to judge it. And everybody gets to be like, oh, 
I don't think he was joking. I think he's being disrespectful. Everybody has their take. We got two different takes in this room right here. Right, 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 right. So it's it's not the problem of him wearing it. It's not the the statement behind it. I don't think because even if it was disrespectful, like if he had said it in the guy's ear, if he went up to every player as they're shaking hands after leaving the field and said, "F Dallas, see you later." F Dallas, see you later. F Dallas, see you. Nobody would care. Nobody would care. He puts it on the shirt. That amplifies that voice because we all got eyes. <laughs> yeah, but you just said there wasn't a problem with it. Now you're saying there should be. I'm saying the problem lies in the fact that everybody heard the message. But you said there wasn't a problem at first. There's no problem in wearing a shirt. Yeah, I don't think the problem is wearing a shirt. I don't think the problem is... The problem is... The problem is... <laughs> I'm so confused with what you're talking no, about. No, you're not. Right? Dude, <laughs> listen, the problem is everybody hearing your shit. All right. If nobody hears what you have to say, it doesn't matter. Right. If you put it on a shirt, everybody hears. But the I whole thing is he ripped F the jersey up on the middle of the field. Like, yeah, that. good. F Dallas. Who cares? I'm not sure what side you're on, but I'm everybody on, saw it. I'm, so is, that's you're, the problem. You're countering your own point in the same sentence. You're like, it's all about who sees it. So he wasn't wear, wearing the shirt isn't a thing, but then he did it in front of everyone. So that is a thing. So I don't understand. What do you, what do you don't understand? You said it matters that everyone could see it. Yes. But it doesn't matter that he had on the shirt. Yes. So he ripped the shirt up and showed everyone. How is that not a problem? Because everyone saw it. Because I don't see a problem with wearing the shirt. But everybody saw it. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. But you, So you're countering your point right now. I mean, I personally don't think there's any problem with it. Like, wear one of those shirts to every game with every team on it and pull it up and wear it. The problem is the FCC. The problem is that people are going to have their opinion about it. So you got to, you know, eat that. That seems disrespectful. <laughs> you are lying. <laughs> what? That is what this is. Dude, no, I play no, no, no. organized you, sports. You don't if I if I played a team, if I like so, yeah. if I went and we beat the orange team and after I was done, I lifted my shirt and had a shirt on that said F the orange team, I would think people would want to fight me. Nobody would want to fight you. That's would, disrespectful. I feel no. like half of the orange team would be like, that's fucking funny. <laughs> 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 and I feel like an or other half of the orange team would be like, oh, F that guy, I guess. Or that, that, that That's an awfully long way to go for a joke. That's the reason that I'm like, it has to be a joke because who goes to that length? Nobody goes to that length out of malice. People who want to, like, cause you harm, unless they're a psychopath, they go through that much trouble. But and then generally, psychopaths are going to go through the extra step of, like, affecting your home life or but something. I, but or I getting you fired. I guarantee you anything, if they would have lost, he wouldn't have done it. If they would have lost... They whooped their ass like 42 to 10. And then Homeboy pulls out the F Dallas shirt. Yeah. If they would have lost 42 to 10, you think he's pulling up the F Dallas shirt? I don't know. I no. Mean, that's that's pretty funny, too, because it's like, how often has he actually worn a shirt that said F the other team? And then it was just like, eh, did we beat him bad, bad enough? It's like maybe he does it every game and, and he finally got he finally got a big enough win. And he's like, you know what? Today's the day. I love it, honestly. I'm ser I I'm I miss the days of Neon Dion where like players were like wrestlers and it's just like you would do an interview and they just do a character. I miss those days, the Ocho Cinco's of the I, I love that. Yeah. I feel like Tom Brady was one of the is probably one of the greatest football players to ever live. Yeah, go ahead, Jones, clap it up for your man. Yay! I don't like that the way you did that. Yay again! It's again today. I don't know. I'm starting to wonder, but I feel like he's one of the greatest football players to ever live. But he missed an opportunity with not doing a character. All he His had to character do was like straight edge white bread. <laughs> That's what it was. He was just like white, the white breadest white bread guy ever. <laughs> His message was like, I, I support President Trump and everything that he has to do. And I'm he, just going to go out I here. play hard. You want to do play hard and do good. I go out and my teammates are good. 100, yeah. 110 percent. I'm going to go home and talk to my supermodel wife. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. And then like they get burned. Yeah, I don't know, man. So I feel like she Tom Brady missed out. He wanted to keep playing football. What's that? He, she dumped him because he wanted to keep playing football. Yeah, I mean, good for him. I mean, he loves the sport. 
That I mean, in all in all, that's kind of a character right there. A guy who loves the sport more than he loves his wife. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's his character. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the crazedown.com <laughs> to subscribe <laughs> for Jonas. <laughs> Fuck Dallas. <laughs>